All right. So now our focus is going to be on writing something in standard form, right? Very, very important that we're able to write everything in standard form. If it's not in standard form, it's not going to be right. It's got to be in standard form. So we talked about standard form is putting our terms in order from, from the greatest exponent, the highest exponent, to the lowest exponent. So we don't care about this 4, and I don't care about that 3. All I actually care about is the 2 and the invisible 1. So that's why these are out of order. This has a higher exponent, so it's 4x to the second. And this has a lower exponent, so it's positive 3x. That's in standard form. And then we would also tell us, well, what kind of polynomial is it based on its, a number of terms? This would be a binomial. It has two terms. Let's say binomial. Take 30 seconds. See if you can get letter B in standard form and then name it. Press pause and try out getting letter B in standard form. All right. The first term should have been 5x cubed. That's our largest exponent. 5x cubed. Our next term is actually going to be a, this one and this one together. Those are like terms, so we can bring them together. 4x plus 7x gives me positive 11x. And then our last term is going to be the negative 1. There's our polynomial in standard form. The biggest exponent was 3. The next biggest was an invisible one. And then the constant term always comes at the end. So this has three terms. You never name it. Never name it at this stage in the game. Always simplify it first. And once it's simplified, then we can say, all right, since now it's simplified, this right here is a three terms trinomial. All right, so let's keep practicing. Try letter C on your own. See what you get. Press pause, try it out. First term should have been 8x to the second. That's got the largest exponent. Next term should have been the 2x, positive 2x. And then our constant, one without a variable, is at negative 3. So now, let, now that it's in standard form, let's name it based on its degree. All right, what's the degree of this polynomial? Since we're looking, the degree looks at the largest exponent, we simply are in the second degree. Now, there is a fancy name for that that you're going to get to know really well coming up here. It's called a quadratic. Quadratic. So a quadratic is that fancy name for the second degree. Um, it's also a trinomial since it has three terms. So the question here is, why does writing a polynomial in standard form help you name the polynomial? Well, it, writing in standard form for two reasons. One, it combines like terms. So we've got to make sure we combine like terms first. That's going to be important before we name it. So standard form does that. And two, it also puts the degree... It puts your highest exponent at the beginning, right? Your highest exponent comes first. So your highest exponent comes first. And because it comes first, that helps me to identify the degree of my polynomial. If the highest exponent was somewhere way down the line, it might be hard to find, and you may not identify your degree correctly. All right, so that's kind of why we bother doing this in the first place. All right, now we get to some actual math. And to be very honest with you, adding polynomials like we're about to do is just a, another way of saying combine like terms. So we have two methods for this. We have the vertical method and the horizontal method. Truth be told, you're probably going to settle with the horizontal method because that's the way that most of us do. But just so you can see what's going on, I will show you the vertical method. It looks a bit more like elementary school. So we take our first uh, two terms, 2x minus 5. And then we take our second polynomial that we're adding, our second binomial, 7x minus 10. And then we say, hey, we're going to add these together. So just like elementary school, you add vertically. So that would give us 9x. 
and then negative 5 and negative 10 gives us negative 15. There you go. Notice that my exponent on the x stayed the same. It did not change. Horizontally, it's the same idea. You write them out. 2x minus 5 plus, so plus the 7x minus 10. And at this point, we simply just kind of look for those like terms and say, hey, 2x, 7x, those are like terms. Add them together first because they're the highest exponent. That gives you 9x, and then the five, negative 5, negative 10, add those together, gives you negative 15. Very, very basic. That's who, Those are your answers. All right. Why don't you try this one on your own real quick? Set it up, and then see which method. Do both methods again, just to see which one you like better, and then we'll move on. Give, press pause and give it a shot. All right, so if you're using the vertical method, you should be setting it up like this. All right, make sure that all of your matching terms line up. So notice that my x's, my x squareds are together, my x's are together, and the constants are together. Addition all the way down. This gives us positive 24, negative 12x, and that gives us positive 14x squared. There's your answer. Horizontally, same idea. You're simply combining those like terms. Negative 7x squared minus 2x plus 5. And you're just adding together with the 21x squared and the negative 10x plus 19. From there, we just combine those like terms. Right here, right here, gives us the 14x squared. Combine with the negative 2x and the negative 10, gives us negative 12x. And then last but not least, positive 5, positive 19, gives us positive 24. So there's addition. Choose your method, whichever you like better. But that's what we add.